What is up guys? Today I want to talk about the scrolling text trend, otherwise known as the marquee or the ticker. I noticed this basically just a couple of weeks ago when I was looking at Mr. Beast store as an example of a big and successful Shopify store just just for something else. I noticed that they're really almost overusing these uh, these scrolling text banners, these marquees as they're known. And I realized that this is a trend. I noticed that prestige theme has also added this section and I'm noticing it on other themes as well. And I've been in the Shopify ecosystem a long time, right? More than seven years. And this wasn't such a popular thing before. So why is it becoming popular now? Why has this trend come about? I want to talk about that in this video. I want to discuss the pros and cons of using it. And I'll also show you how to get it if you don't have it in your theme. I know that Dawn theme and all the free Shopify themes don't have this section yet. So I actually built one of my own. You can add this section to any theme. Uh, you can drag it around anywhere you want, including in the header and footer. And I also built a bunch of different settings for it so that you can customize it. It's up for sale on my Gumroad shop and it's compatible with any theme. You'll find the link in the description, but that's all the self promotion I'm going to do. Uh, let's talk about this actual trend and whether you should be using it. So I think there are three main reasons why this trend came about now. First of all, this isn't a new thing. Okay, this is actually an old trend from from the internet of 10 to 15 years ago, that's coming back, right? So like a lot of things, Gen Z loves the 90s kind of look, right? Or the early 2000s. Anyway, um, so maybe that applies to the internet. I don't know. But we actually used to have this marquee HTML element that would do this stuff automatically. And then that was removed, right? As you can see, the MD and web docs, this is like the, the main source of truth about, I don't know, about like HTML and CSS on the internet. Um, and they're saying it's deprecated. This feature is no longer recommended. You cannot use the HTML marquee tag. So people are building it in different other ways anyway. Um, and why was it deprecated? It was deprecated because a lot of people actually hated it. Uh, a lot of people will say that it's a bad trend, that it's bad user experience. And the main arguments is that the content is unpredictable. You don't know how large the content is, right? the length. It's either too slow or too fast. It's hard to read moving text and it's distracting, right? Um, and those are all valid concerns, I think, but it's coming back anyway. I think the issue that it's visually distracting uh, when it comes to e-commerce, that's actually kind of a plus, right? That, that That's a pro, not a con. Um, if you want to attract people's attention to your new collection, for example, obviously you'd, you'd have all these links in, in my section. I, I've, uh, I've made this a link as well. If you want to really attract people's attention, maybe you have a Black Friday sale or something like that. You really want to draw attention. And that's the way the human brain works is that we see moving objects, we pay attention to moving objects much more that that's a survival mechanism, right? If we see something moving in the grass 10,000s of years ago, it could be a snake or something, right? Um, so basically, it's very eye catching. And that's both a good thing, but it could be an annoying thing as well if you overuse it. So the second thing is that your store design really needs to be suited uh, to these very loud banners, right? I mean, even if you're doing a small one, even if your text is small, it's still, uh, I would call it a loud or um, a very garish <laughs> design. Is that a right word? Yes, <laughs> it is a garish design, right? So this is actually suitable for a new trend called neo brutalism. If you haven't heard that term, this is a good example. This is actually my girlfriend's website. It's her case study. Uh, but this is a good example of neo brutalism. You'll notice that many websites are using this kind of design now with these heavy shadows, these uh, very simple kind of flat icons, but in in these much brighter colors. And a good example is gumroad.com, right? The, the platform that I use to sell my digital products, my Shopify sections. This is a perfect example of neo brutalism. And my point is that the scrolling banner or the marquee is very suitable for this kind of website, because it blends in well with that. It is a loud eye catching feature for a loud eye catching website, it suits it, right? Whereas the past 10 years, we've had minimalism, I think, as the dominant trend. 
um, in web design and in e-commerce. And the third reason, this is just kind of my theory, but let me show you the third reason. And that's mobile shopping, okay? Um, the whole reason for a marquee or a ticker in the real world is when you don't have a lot of space, right? So imagine on billboards, maybe not billboards, but train station uh, notice boards or on cinemas where they're showing the name of the movie or on just TVs on, on news when they're showing the stock ticker, right? It's all because of a lack of space, specifically width. You need information coming through and you don't have much space to display it. So you need it scrolling. And that's an issue with the rise of mobile shopping, right? It's not as much of an issue on desktop. You can, you can fit any kind of message you want, right? But it's not so easy to fit that message on mobile, which is why I think this is a useful feature to have. So yeah, to summarize, those are the three reasons, according to my opinion, okay? <laughs> it's just a particularly good feature for e-commerce. Um, it really fits the neo-brutalist, uh, very bright and colorful trend of recent years. And it's suitable for mobile shopping. It's optimized for mobile shopping because you can fit more text on a smaller screen. So here are some tips if you wanna use a marquee on your website. First of all, as I mentioned, it can be difficult to read. Right, especially for people who have reading difficulties like dyslexia or simply if you have bad vision. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you enable pause on hover. This is a setting that I've built into my section, right? There's a checkbox here that allows you to make it pause on hover. The second thing is adjust the speed so that it's not too fast. I've made it a variable speed. So of course you can do something like this, but I definitely don't recommend that kind of speed because nobody's going to be reading that. I also recommend leaving it in a natural reading direction, right? So it's going left rather than right. But, um, you know, on Mr. Beast's store, they often do it the other way. I'm not sure why, but you have that option. You want to make the colors high contrast as well. Definitely don't use like a light gray text on a white background, right? You definitely need more contrast when the text is moving so that it's readable. You also want good spacing between each of the sentences. So I'm using emojis here to create some separation. You want some image to separate. Otherwise, things can kind of look like one sentence. That is unless you're doing that as a specific effect, right? So this, this constant ribbon here is just an effect that I thought looks cool and it's cyclical, right? People won't be confused. Where does the sentence end? It never ends. But here, definitely you want some kind of separator. And I've made it so that you can adjust the gap as well. And finally, the font is very important as well. The font choice. Change the font to something that is more blocky, more sans serif, right? And I've added a font picker here so that you can select from any of the Shopify fonts, even if you're not using it on the rest of your store. So those are my tips on how to make it not annoying and actually beneficial, right? I think on my store here, I just have a small one. It's in like the color of my brand, right? And it's going quite slowly. It's not intrusive. It's easy to read. It links and opens in a new tab, right? So that's an example of how you can use it. If you're interested in getting this section, then visit shop.ed.codes. If you found the video interesting and you want me to cover other design trends, then I'd be very happy to do so. I find it interesting as well to talk about the design topic, even though I'm a developer. I think there's definitely not enough people talking about e-commerce design on YouTube. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.